The Boeing 777X and the Airbus A380 are two of the most remarkable accomplishments in commercial aviation, each representing a distinctive approach to meeting the requirements of long-haul air travel. The 777X is Boeing's response to the changing requirements of the market, prioritizing efficiency and flexibility over maximum capacity, although the A380 is known for its double-deck design and sheer size. The comparison of these two titans reveals that they differ not only in terms of their physical dimensions, but also in terms of their design philosophies, technological innovations, and commercial strategies. The Boeing 777-9 the most powerful member of the XXX family is the world's longest airliner, measuring 251 feet 9 inches. This beats the A380, which measures 238 feet 8 inches. Nevertheless, the A380's wider wingspan of 261 feet 8 inches and significantly higher maximum takeoff weight, MTO boat of 575 tons, nearly 65% heavier than the 777X's MTOW of 351 tons, serve as compensatory factors. The A380's double-deck configuration also provides it with a commanding presence at airports, although its size also presents operational challenges, such as the necessity for specialized infrastructure. The A380 is the most physically imposing passenger aircraft ever built, as its double-deck design further eclipses the 777X in terms of height. Another area in which the A380 excels is passenger capacity, with a three-class configuration that can accommodate over 500 passengers and a high-density layout that can accommodate up to 615 passengers. This is in contrast to the 777-9's standard capacity of approximately 414 to 426 passengers. This stark contrast emphasizes the A380's original intention to serve ultra-high-density itineraries, whereas the 777-X is designed to cater to a slightly smaller, more adaptable market segment. The A380's spacious cabin has long been a selling point. However, the 777X boasts a new level of passenger comfort, including larger windows, enhanced air quality, advanced LED lighting, and a lower cabin altitude, all of which were inspired by the Boeing 77 Dreamliner. The aircraft's design philosophies underscore a change in industry perspective. The A380 was initially intended to be the first in a series of super jumbos. However, only the Dash 800 variant was manufactured. These factors restricted its appeal, particularly as airlines began to prioritize smaller, more adaptable aircraft. In contrast, Boeing developed the 777X to occupy a specific niche that exceeds the capacity of the Airbus A350-1000 with a focus on itineraries that necessitate both high passenger volumes and ultra-long-range capability. For instance, the 777-8 variant is intended for ultra-long-haul operations, with a range of up to 8,730 nautical miles. This capability differentiates it as a direct competitor to the A350-1000, surpassing both the A380 and the 777-9. Airlines now prioritize flexibility and efficiency over sheer bulk, reflecting the lessons learned from the A380's struggles. The 777X's attraction is fundamentally rooted in innovations in technology. Despite its remarkable span of 235 feet 5 inches, the aircraft is capable of fitting into standard airport gates due to its new carbon composite wing with folding wingtips. Compared to the A380's previous four-engine design, the General Electric GE9X engines are the most powerful ever built for a commercial aircraft, leading to enhanced fuel efficiency and reduced emissions. The cockpit is also modernized, closely approximating that of the 787, with advanced avionics and touchscreens, facilitating the transition between Boeing's most recent models. These innovations yield a 10% increase in fuel efficiency compared to previous models and competitors, a critical factor in the pursuit of cost and emissions reduction by airlines. Another critical component of the 777X's strategy is market positioning. The 777X is subject to a comparable concentration risk, with Emirates once again accounting for a substantial portion of orders, whereas the A380 was significantly reliant on a small number of major customers, most notably Emirates. This dependence on a few key clients may pose a risk in the event that market conditions shift, 
or airlines modify their fleet development strategies. Furthermore, the 777X's size and performance requirements, which are specifically designed to meet the demands of Gulf carriers, necessitate a heavier aircraft that must maintain high load factors to remain profitable. The business case for very large aircraft such as the A380 is further challenged by the preference of many airlines for the flexibility of smaller aircraft, which can be deployed more readily across various routes. The 777X program has encountered delays, which have enabled the Airbus A350 to establish a significant market presence despite its initial promise. The A350 is also operated by the majority of airlines that have ordered the 777X, indicating that these aircraft are perceived as complementary rather than direct competitors. The commercial success of the 777X will depend on Boeing's ability to meet its commitments to superior efficiency and economics, which will justify the aircraft's size and complexity in an industry that increasingly values adaptability. In the interim, the A380's production ended, and its legacy is determined by both its commercial limitations and its engineering marvel. In summary, the Boeing 777X is a calculated improvement in the pursuit of high-capacity, efficient long-haul travel. It aims to circumvent the obstacles that hindered the A380's commercial success by emphasizing technological innovation, operational efficiency, and a more narrowly focused market strategy. Nevertheless, Boeing's future depends on its ability to manage risks, meet performance commitments, and adapt to the changing needs of airlines and passengers. The fate of these titans will serve as a testament to the balance between ambition and pragmatism in aircraft design as the aviation industry continues to evolve. Now, do you think the Boeing 777X will do better than the Airbus A380? Let us know in the comments. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.